guys, Michelle here from Sparkle Me Pink, and today I'm going to be opening up my very first glossy box. Now, I've never received one of these before, and it is a decent sized box, if I do say so myself. Now, I did receive this as a promotional item, however, you guys know that does not influence my opinions of things, and I'm really honest about everything, so, and you can usually tell. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. I'm super, super excited. Now, this is a monthly subscription beauty box. It's $21 a month, and I think you get four or five deluxe sample products and things like that. So, let's see what's inside. Okay, so upon opening it, there is a card, and it says glossy box on it. Let's see, it's probably got the products in it. Oh no, this is the sweetest note from Stephanie. She is the uh, affiliate marketing manager over at Glossy Box, and oh, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, so for the box inside, it looks very America-ish. Sophia's gonna get a kick out of this. She's been very much into the whole stars and stripes and everything for 4th of July. So this is, I don't know if this is the June box or the July box, so. I'm hoping that there is a little card inside, but this, I hope to repurpose this. This is really cute. I could totally reuse that. And it's like really sturdy, like cardboard. Okay, so let's go ahead, see what's inside. If I can get it open. Okay, so let's go ahead and look together at the same time what it looks like inside. Oh, it's all wrapped up with a little cute little bow. I'm assuming this was in the middle at some point, but still, it's the, the effort was there, and it's really cute. And there's some tissue paper, and it smells really good. <laughs> the box smells good. Hopefully something didn't explode. Okay, so that is what we're looking at right here. Let's go ahead and pick up what is in the grass or the little fluffy stuff here. It is the... Aries, I'm sorry, you guys know I'm bad at pronouncing things. It's A Y R E S, and it looks like it is a sample size with essential oils of jasmine and rosemary. But what is it? Oh, it's a body butter. Ooh, I wonder if this is what I'm smelling. And I'm pretty congested for you know, so, so for me to smell something. Nope, it's sealed. Oh man, my allergies are terrible right now. Okay, so it is a very thick body butter. Let's go ahead and put some on, which is perfect because my skin has been so dry with going, you know, in the pool and the dry weather here in Arizona. It's just, oh, this feels really good. Ooh, I really, really, really like this. It's greasy without being greasy. I could see putting this on before bed. I wouldn't put this on during the day, but. You can kind of see a sheen kicking, and it took off that ashy yuckiness that I have kicking on, so I like that. That's really cool, and it's a decent size. While it's a sample size, I feel like I could get, you know, a good couple uses out of this. The next thing I'm pulling out is the Imperial Repair Hand Therapy Lemongrass Vert and Sparkling Grapefruit. That is a tongue twister right there, and it is in this really pretty gold cream packaging. I don't know how I feel about getting two different like lotion-y products in the box, but, and it's sealed as well, so let's see what it smells like. I can definitely smell the lemon. Let me see if I can try and keep it separate. And maybe minty? Is, did it say it was minty? As, like a lemon mint? It says grapefruit. I wonder what I'm smelling. But it definitely smells very florally, out in a field, lemon, citrusy, summery kind of scent to it for sure. It's not as greasy as that body butter at all. I could use this during the day. And it feels really good. Let's see what else is in here. I see a bottle of Texture Dry Finish Hairspray. And it's a medium hold by Rusk. And I've never tried anything from this brand, so that'll be fun to kind of play around with and and I like using these. I have one from, I forget the brand, but it's in a matte black bottle that I really, really like and it's like a textured clay. Woo! Oh! That has 
quite the strong scent to it. And um, very much like a waxy uh, texture, like feel to it. Like I could feel it in my hair. And I always go up for some reason with the texture sprays because I feel like it gives me more boost and volume and oomph. I don't know about the scent. I mean, it's not that it's a bad scent. It's just very, very strong to me. Uh, let me see. It doesn't say, like, what it is, though. Uh, just says spray in short bursts on roots or entire head to achieve flexible finish and hold. I could see this definitely giving me some texture and a little bit of oomph, like I was saying. But the smell, the scent of it is very strong for me. Okay, ooh, what is this? This is, um, Sumida? Sumida? Sum, Sumita? S-U-M-I-T-A, if I am reading that correctly. There seems to be, like, the red dust all over it. What the heck is that? This is a champagne eyeshadow pencil. Let's go ahead and open this up. And it looks like it could possibly be full size. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and I'll swatch it out for you guys. Oh, it's very creamy. Almost like, like watery creamy. I like that. I just hope that it sets. It dries and sets. That way it doesn't crease. And it kind of has more of a, this is called champagne. Champagne eyeshadow pencil. I don't see any other name for the color or anything like that on here. I would not call this a champagne though. This is more like, this is more of like a rosy purple, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know, that's kind of a strange name for something that doesn't look gold. Like when I think of champagne, I think of like golden colors. And this is my eyeshadow stick from Rimmel Scandal Eyes and this is in the shade Bulletproof Beige. And I feel like this is definitely, so here's the Rimmel right here, and I feel like that is definitely more of a champagne than the Sumina one. Actually, they feel very similar in texture. The formula is really nice, and I look forward to using it. It reminds me kind of of a Clinique eyeshadow that I have. It reminds me of this Clinique Quick Eyes Cream eyeshadow in the shade Rock Violet. And I feel like this would look very similar. Is very similar in color. So this is the Clinique Rock Velvet right here. And it looks like I have one more item left in my glossy box this month. And it is by Strange Beautiful. I've never tried anything from them before either. But I have heard Jen from Jen Loves Reviews talk about this brand and absolutely loves it. So I am so excited to try these out. I believe that she said that you can only get these in Anthropology. And I haven't looked into it further and I probably should because she raves about them all the time and I'm so jealous. I totally want to try them. So here are the two that I have and it looks like they come like, come in a pair and then you take off the cap to get to the colors. And, oh and I do remember her saying that they don't have names or numbers or anything because the I'm not seeing these labeled whatsoever. But they are the perfect like America colors, like a bright, bold red it might look orangey the viewfinder makes it look orangey but it's really a bright true red and then a nice royal blue so that is everything that came in my very first glossy box let me know what you think about it in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let's recap real quick about what i got i got the nail polishes here from strange beautiful and i'm really looking forward to using them because i've heard jen rave about them i got the eyeshadow stick which is not really named appropriately, it's more of a purple shade, but I'm really excited to try this because I liked the formula on the back of my hand and I'm anxious to see how it wears on my eye. And I got the lotion, which smells like a beautiful floral field of flowers, and I like that. The only thing I didn't like is that I got two kind of body lotion-y products. I kind of like to get a variety of things, but I mean, I do like this as well. It does feel really nice on my skin, and it has soaked in quite nicely over the time that it has been sitting on there. And last, the hair product. Now, while I'll probably get some use out of this, I'll probably have to like plug my nose because it is a very strong scent. As far as the value of the box being $21 a month, um, I'm not sure, 
I don't see a card with the prices of the products, so I'm gonna have to like look that up, but I feel like it probably is worth it. This looks like something that would be, you know, full size and, you know, pretty pricey. I, and it's also not a twist up. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I would have to sharpen it. I don't know. I, it's hard to gauge how the value of the box is if I don't know how much the products cost, if that makes sense. But I did relatively like all of the products that came in here, and I will get some use out of them. It's really the best gauge of what I can say about the box at this time until I can tally up um, what everything's worth, I suppose. Be sure to stay tuned to my channel and hit that subscribe button so you can see my videos coming up this month. I will be opening up the FabFitFun Summer Box as well as my Ipsy bag as always. And I have a couple of other videos and maybe a little surprise for you guys coming up really soon. So stay tuned to see all of those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Just wanted to jump back in real quick because when I got the mail with my FabFitFun box that I just finished filming, it also came with this cute little baggie, which I first I thought was my Ipsy bag, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is really early, and I didn't even get any tracking info, but then I opened it up, and it is a little note and a little box, and it says, please try out this mud mask and serum in addition to your nightly skincare routine, hashtag mud mask selfie, and show us your results. Both items will be in the July glossy box. So I'm assuming now that I know this, that the box that I just opened is the June box. And let's see what mask and serum is in here. And it looks like there is a little headband to hold my hair back. And oh, I love Glam Glow. I have tried this before and it just helps kind of like shrink everything up and clear everything up. But this I have not tried or heard of. It is the Skin Ink Custom Blended Brightening Serum. And I've never tried that before. Feels pretty heavy. Ooh, it looks fancy. Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. Right? The only thing I, I, you know what drives me crazy is when bottles aren't filled up all the way. You might as well just fill it up all the way. I don't get why companies do that. It just, I don't know. I mean, I know it's just a sample and stuff like that, but I want a full bottle. It just makes you feel a little bit better about it. So, yeah, just wanted to jump back in, guys, and say hi and share this with you, that both of these items will be in the July Glossy Box, and let me know if you're going to get the July Glossy Box. I might actually get it just to get doubles of these now. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.